Yo guys, welcome back to the channel and before we start, I just want to thank you for your amazing and continuous support. I can't express how grateful I am to God and to you guys. I've seen all the nice comments in my previous videos when I revealed my face. There are some suspicious comments, I'm not gonna lie, but hey, it is what it is. I'm just thankful for you guys and I hope that I'm giving you value back. And without further ado, let's jump right into the video. What the fuck? Just leave already. You're gonna get yourself arrested. Why are you still there? And that is not a prank. Pepper spraying someone in the eyes. That's not funny. Y'all are not in the army to do that shit. God forbid, but there is a small chance you could have caused permanent damage to his cornea. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for you guys to go and check it out. And let me know what you think in the comments below. What are you doing? Well, look. The ocean wave at me. So wave back. <laughs> Usually in a time of crisis, that's when our natural selves come out. Exactly. Because when it's everything stable and calm or whatever, we can take have the privilege of saying hypothetically, I would do this or this I, or this. I, I could take on a man, sure. And when it actually happens, but that's when I... Facts, when you put men and women in survival situations, the men would be expected to build, protect and provide. And the woman would be expected to nurture, be supportive to their men and take care of the kids. This is instinctual and it's built in us as humans. I don't want to be in this anymore. I, get I want it. out. Mm -hmm. I want a divorce. Mm -hmm. I understand. Do I, you understand? I do. So what do you want? Chicken delight? Mixed fajitas? What do you want? Why are you freaking asking me? You know what the hell I get at every restaurant that we eat at. Chicken Seriously? delight? Side of queso? Chicken delight? Yeah. Chips and salsa? Uh huh. Queso. Queso. And I want a frozen strawberry margarita. Extra tequila. Want an extra shot of tequila, yes. I got you. Okay, then we're, we're good then. All right. This is exactly how to be stoic in a relationship. Women want a reaction out of you. So you either do this, but if it is repetitive and it happens all the time, I would not tolerate it personally. The best thing to do is to end that relationship and each of us go their separate way. My girlfriend's waiting in the car and I think she's waiting for me to open the door. So we're gonna see if that's what she wanted. <laughs> Hi, princess. Bruh, fuck off. <laughs> Don't cook for him, because he'll cheat on you with the strength he got from your food. <laughs> <laughs> he'll cheat on you with the strength he got from your food. Fam, from the, wow. energy, from the energy he sustained from your cooking, he's going to take it and that bitch. Wow. Wow. That's hilarious, that hilarious to me. That is hilarious. Wow. I can't, if I'm, I, I read it, I can't imagine <laughs> the bitterness of the woman who typed that. Facts. That's he'll take that, the energy bro. of that food yeah, and he'll be a it. weapon formed against you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a weapon formed against you. <laughs> bro, sometimes women think about the most craziest shit that doesn't make any sense. Or they make excuses like this one because they don't want to do that thing. That is a bit minimum, yeah. isn't it? One last question. What was uh, the first thing you noticed about me? First thing I noticed. Be honest, completely honest, because your ick was honesty. Are they real? The modern woman is a walking contradiction. So they are generally narcissists, mm -hmm. um, and they are the first women in, I think, probably most of history that they tend to destroy what they love and chase what they hate. Uh, they have a number of things they want, but generally I think the modern woman doesn't want to love. I think the modern woman wants to feel more than anything. What is your plan B if nobody marries you? Play dumb, which but, we can. But, but yeah, you lie, just the same way you lie about your friend being laying and she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't agree with you because there's nothing wrong with bigging your friend up, making her feel good. No, no why no, no, lie? Don't big her up, man. Tell me the truth. Why if lie? I'm bringing my boy and I'm if saying, you, oh, we're going to do a thing with these girls. No. You're, you're out here, linking man, and you're, you as an attractive woman, you're getting bad attention. Your girl's just there in the corner getting cold. <laughs> And then you want to go and, and, then, and then she's then, then, then she's asked, oh, why, why is this and why? Oh, babes, you're beautiful. I don't know why they don't like you. You know full well you're dead, bruv. And then so she starts man marking. Wait, wait, starts what, man marking as well. What you should be saying is that they're, they're, these are the type of men you should be going for. 
These are the type of men you should be going for. Yeah, the man that's yet me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any delusional friends. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know why women do this with female friends. Usually men would say it how it is. You can be harsh with men and they wouldn't get mad about it. He he has the best intentions for you. His yeah. plans are to prosper you. Yeah. Bring you to an expected end. But your life does not. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bruh. We gonna keep this? <laughs> Nigga, I can't even reach him, bro. Is... <laughs> how big is too big and how small is too small? I feel like seven inches is like borderline too small. Border? Okay. Borderline too small. Damn. <laughs> Y'all rather be Twinkies or Toaster Strudels? What are we doing? Toaster Strudels! Toaster Strudels? Yeah. we extra icing! Come on! Nope, Twinkie. Twinkie? Sorry. Yeah. What's the freakiest you did on the first date? Had a baby. Ah! Gangsta! Not have standards, but women can make all the demands they want. Every single girl, and I knew it, I said it before you said it, you want 100K a year, you want a man who's six feet tall, but what's the percent of the guy, like, that's the top 5% earners? Don't niggas want bad bitches? Yeah, but we have to earn it. They just think they deserve it based okay, on so these girls have to earn guys that are high-quality guys, too. Here's the thing, <laughs> none of them think they have to earn it. Do you ladies think you have to earn it? <laughs> <laughs> Right now. Yeah, well, it is what it is. Hypergamy is a real thing from the beginnings of time. But in this day and age, it's mixed with the self entitlement of the modern day women. Okay, on that, mommy. Okay, hold up, right? On okay. the papi. I, ooh, si se puede. We can do that. Hola, hola, como esta, shorty? Hold up. Are you smart? That's my question. Are you smart? Yes. Yeah. Can I ask a question? Yes. If you was born five years ago today, how old would you be? Five. Oh, she got it! Would you want to get married? Um, not really. What is he doing? He's beginning to believe. <gasps> How come? Because um, when you get married, um, the other person is entitled entitled to any money um the other person has. So it's a financial issue for you? Yeah. He is the one. Smart kid. What can I say? He knows what he's doing. It's looking good for his future. Beat on your man or snitch on your girl? Beat on your man. Like, why well, I'm never snitching on my girls. Like, period, period. Just how, just how you guys never snitch on your mans. You guys love your mans. You guys love I'm not, I'm not giving the gang up. I don't want to be with you anymore. That's okay. Wait, what? Yeah, thank you for telling me. I want to be with someone who actually wants to be with me, so this is good information to have. By saying this, you just made it that much easier to say goodbye. You're not taking this personally? No. What someone likes or doesn't like is not a reflection of me. It's a reflection of what works for them. My job isn't to fit into that. My job is to see how people love and choose whether or not that works for me. Not try to get you to like me. Wow, mature. Is it wrong that I like you again? <laughs> no, it's not wrong. But I'm not interested because it took losing me for you to figure this out. Secure people like secure people. Damn, I guess playing hard to get only works with anxious people. Man, the ability to move on from anything is such a blessing. How are women the prize if they date up? If the woman's the prize, why do I have to be taller than her? Why do I have to make more money? Why do I have to be able to give her the life that she can't get for herself if she's the prize? I'll tell you why, because she's not the prize. I am, and you are. This is just another one of society's oldest tricks. Trick the people who have the power into believing they don't have the power, and they'll spend all their time chasing the power instead of using their power, which gives those who don't have the power all the power. Reclaim your crowns, gentlemen. The time has come to know the game and play well. That's all men care about, uh, what, what other, other men, men think. Say. You don't care about what other women, what women think. You just worship men. Women are just there for sex. So if you need advice, go ask your male friends. But you, you have to, you have to see it from a different perspective. What perspective? Do you know why? No. So why, why do men like other men? I don't know. It's very simple. It's very, it's very simple. It's iron like, sharpens iron. Oh, and yeah, so we are plastic. Are women plastic? Yeah, but, uh, timber, uh, something else. Timber. Uh, 
No, it's not plastic or chimba or whatever. It's the fact that women cannot handle masculine problems. If you want to solve something, you solve it by yourself or you call your boy to solve it with you. Simple as that. I think men know their worth more than we do. Mm -hmm. And like when men they have say, non-negotiables. Yes, like when men <laughs> say they're not they putting do. up, yeah, when they yeah, say they're not yeah. putting up with some shit, like they mean that. Like, they, yeah, the whole you ever tried to pieces. cross a man's boundaries? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. Oh, there's no such thing. You oh, can put yeah. your tiptoe over it. It's over. <laughs> Period. Not to... I'm glad that there are still women out here who are self-aware to not cross a man's boundaries and respect him, because that's one of the key factors if you want your man to stay with you. 